magnetized needle can navigate land. For our treasure map compass, a former beetle, Mr. John Lennon, considered an antichrist communist by some critics. A costume Sheikh Lennon wore hiding a Messiah-loving Muslim cleric. A rosy rhyming riller, our world's current best-selling past top 10. Guiding us to Islam in our 1971 song, Imagine. Singing easy steps to solving a 53-year mystery. Is our record, Imagine, a theist, atheist, or yin-yang symphony? The Beatles fueled conspiracies with artistic and backmasking clues in albums about Paul's death. Does Imagine hide clues of John's religious rebirth? The most famous English knight reborn in Allah? Oh no! May God save our knight and queen's soul. History's bedazzled colonist queen knows. You beg to differ? No way! Silly chaplain daddy, you say? Christian groups worldwide, including KKK and white Nazis, bounce to boycott and ban our ballad as blasphemous. Atheists adopted Imagine as an anthem. How can a song saying no religion be about any religion? What psycho ninja teaching herb is chaplain daddy cooking? Prepare a ceremony with no ham and engraved plaque in the Beatlemaniacs Hall of Fame. John Lennon's puzzle is solved. Sheikh Lennon is singing Imagine Islam. Before you challenge chaplain daddy's sensei abilities, I must warn you, I am a mujid. Teacher of Islam, and in tune with Master Sensei Yoko Ono's muse energy. Only Strawberry Samurai level can teach mastering multi dimension seamless secret song sewing while chopping boy bands to cubits. Our pride underestimated our nimble ninja dragon Yoko Ono from Japan. Even Ringo's drumming was not superior to Asian made gaze and humming. Chop! Chopped our beautiful beetle bricks of brothers until there were only two John and Yoko forever lovers. Of course, some beetle boys did not know about Strawberry Samurai at Apple Studios. Maybe Paul knew. Paul knew. Dragon women can do what Western women tried crouching walrus, hiding John, teaching playing Lennon how to blossom from being a boy into a master singing sensei man. Millions of Western girls screamed themselves into such sad failure as Amuse Master Sensei Muse held hands with our self-compared savior. Hordes of rushing Western girls' greed and lust and envy is what crushed zombie bones for Master Sensei Yoko Ono ears to hear daily. Master Muse Ono listens calmly and grins, reminiscing pitter-patter sounds of Japan's calming rains. Foolish running and kneading style. Always fall. Master Sensei Ono style. Stand tall. Manifest winning to win our singing student superstar. Finding true love comes from intending to give true love. Being one with our higher power love and grateful for love. We come from ancient mountain masters. We build Japanese stuff. Even after getting nuked by the U.S. We will share IslamicRecovery.com training even addict boys and girls can learn dot dot we open our eyes to health, recognizing the strategic web of sickness we've been lured in, denouncing the numbing net of notorious narcotics and narcissists, nabbing our time into nothingness. Only God can give true continuous freedom and contentment on earth and beyond. A power stronger than all suns in sync is scarier than withdrawing from any earth flesh poisons or people. You are billions of steps ahead of many zombie biobots. Keep up the great work. Islam's original translation is health. Health is harmony. Harmony is yin yang. Yin yang is theism. The miracle of finding our dragon's frequency starts with our kung fu move of actively teaching gratitude. First to yourselves, then the world. In our Master Samurai Bushid Dragon Students Easy Peasy Lesson Plan, we can be at one with the essence and spirit of Imagine in Islam by being in gratitude. 
On our path to mastery, you may become more than a master. Your frequency can become too powerful. People around you may treat you more important than our guides in our Holy Quran with time, values, and prescriptions. People presume Mr. Lennon was an antichrist from complaining people are paying attention to the Beatles more than their own Bibles. Entire city blocks roared like thunder with thousands of hysterical people following the Beatles block by block, not getting tired. Mr. Lennon was perceived and treated as a flesh god on earth, perhaps more than 99% of humans who ever lived. John Lennon was a rare supernova who millions still listen to. With Imagine released 53 years ago, Mr. Lennon is still our top 10 best-selling deceased artist in the world, currently earning millions per year, and currently very relaxed. With that power, fame, and money while levitating Lennon among us comes tons of temptations. Every viper, managers, and media aiming between your eyes and blasting repeatedly every vice and vixen. The demand, even by some greedy children to have heaven on earth, is nearly impossible to withstand. Making your own children cry explaining gluttony is unhealthy. In Prime, Mr. Lennon was challenged by demons the most. Walking away from demons is at times like ripping your own skin off. Mr. Lennon did that daily just to try to help save our capitalized human lives worldwide. Maturing from a boy singing of boy love to a preacher for human harmony to reach Phoenix Dragon level. In part two, we will learn a chronological sounds and frequencies and experiences of Mr. Lennon leading to mastery in Islam. B. We will follow the steps of becoming idolized to sacrificing idols for humans. C. We will learn the brilliance of a phoenix dragon. Like lovely water, enjoy the lively river of John Lennon flowing to the stream of love in Islam. First, Good Sheikh shares Sunni solution steps. Teaching reverse engineering. Combining clues from a song scene. Singer's intent. Contextualizing lyrics. Who, when, what, why. Introducing 10 clues. Imagine 1971. Co-written by Yoko Ono, sang by our scientists of sounds, covered by kings, queens, and presidents, is Sergeant John's secret shahada. Studying and sharing levels of wisdom very few in the 1970s could afford or understand until today. Sailing, flying, experimenting, and singing for tranquility. Of course, my lovelies, there's no smoking gun and there's reasonable doubt my judging jury. For the love of Sheikh John, continue enjoying our Muslim mystery journey. When we combine all the Blues X Beatles clues, you see Islam and imagine like crystal clear tranquil water. The scenario of the song Imagine 1. Mr. Lennon is a synthesizer machine in electric human form. A genius siphon absorbing words and frequencies globally to angelically convert and transmit for us odd audience. Studied TM in 1967. John's yoga teacher, Maharishi Mahesh, was the founder of Transcendental Meditation in India. Rishikesh, India is the yoga capital of the world on the north side, crowned with Muslim communities. This is not proof of John Lennon being a Muslim or singing about Islam. It's only the first clue to who... In spending thousands to learn meditating, we can picture the lyrics of Imagine as steps to meditate. Mindset and mantras, chants to reach gratefulness. Two, as revolutionaries and reactionaries, the Beatles used their pens and music as soldiers for peace. In 1969, Mr. Lennon returned the British Knighthood Shiny Trinket Award to protest UK's warmongering African children, conniving Kafirs funding civil war in Muslim-majority Nigeria. Mr. Lennon wrote to Queen Elizabeth Windsor II with Bag Productions letterhead, Lennon and Ono's new company, Your Majesty. I am returning my MBE as a protest against Britain's involvement in the Nigeria Biafra thing. 
against our support of America and Vietnam, and against cold turkey slipping down the charts. With love, John Lennon of BAG. In 1970, to help millions in Bangladesh, also a majority Muslim country, George Harrison created the song Bangladesh and invited John to perform a charity concert together. John then created God and Imagine. 3. In John Lennon's song, God, 1970, our doctor of theology gave us the answer to a previous Beatles comedic walrus conspiracy about Paul McCartney. Mr. Lennon is tipping his Riddler's hat saying, We're still playing hide-and-seek words, my beauties. God 1970 Is John Lennon's first public paraphrasis to profess the religion of Islam. A good detective looks at the song scene with our magical mystery magnifying glass, seeing past deities, present gods. Connecting them like dual PhD Yale and Harvard calculus theological professors such as your humble chaplain father. Scientifically studying songs with our magnifying glass, we use the mean, median, and mode method to find missing data. Mean, sum of observations. Total number of observations. Allah, Islam, Quran, Muhammad, Legendary Lenin is sharing an international theology library collection to save us many trips to Penny Lane. Paraphrasing the perfectionist paraphrases. I don't believe in those gods. I am reborn. I believe in Allah, Islam, the Quran, and Messenger Muhammad. Mr. Lenin bravely declared Shahada. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad is Messenger. 4. Our walruses were friends with a goat. In 1960, world boxing and Olympic champion Cassius Clay met our Aki Malcolm X and joined Islam. In the same month of February 1964, Cassius became buddies with our band and became Muhammad Ali. Their friendship continued into 1977, with both lovely legends spending the evening talking at the new American President Jimmy Carter's inauguration. 5. Mr. Lennon was in hot waters with the law and Christian groups prior to writing Imagine. In 1966, Mr. Lennon said the Beatles were more popular than Jesus, causing the conservative Christians of the 1960s to burn every Beatles record they could. After a microwave of bad press, boastful boy John begrudgingly apologized for years, making sure to also ask in sharp wit fashion, what did I say wrong? Public heroes who spoke up for equal rights or Islam or spoke against Christianity were being assassinated. Mr. Lennon fit in two of three groups and now all three martyrs. The Nation of Islam was often in the news with their spokesman Malcolm X, extremely vilified for teaching equal rights. Malcolm X was assassinated in 1965 and then another equal rights hero, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., in 1968. Watching white Christian authorities emotionlessly killing African American daily boiled into needing heroes. Singing Imagine in a violent race war torn America and being a target of right wing Christians was heroic. Imagine is Mr. Lennon's love against the hate from the oppressing man without saying the man's name. Imagine Islam in 1971 would have been crazy for a Fab Four Igner from the UK applying for US citizenship. 1971 Anti Christ, Anti Nixon. Atheist Jihadi Johnny Muslim X would delay getting citizenship a long time. Slick Ricky Nixon's FBI would have raided Jihadi Johnny real quick. Zero to a hundred FBI agents real quick. Islam stereotyped as radical Africans, exploding Arabs, gas station Gandhis. Mr. Lennon safely veiled his Shahada as a universal white flag wearing a strawberry fields uniform. On to the lyrics, my lovely children. Picture a rainbow kaleidoscope image of John Lennon as the Maharishi Sufi Muslim meditator and the song Imagine as an Islamic meditation mantra. 
Transcend to our tranquil Islamic well-being, peace, be in harmony with humanity, all synonyms for health. Mr. Lennon's Muslim meditation mantra begins. Imagine there's no heaven, it's easy if you try, no hell below us, above us, oh. Nice guy, imagine all the people living for today, ah, eh. Our Islamic yogi meditation teacher is saying, Remove greed, lust, and fear from your mind and soul. Gluttony from all the fame and riches on earth is hollow. Fans followed Mr. Lennon like a swarm of 1,000 mosquitoes filling entire streets. Always wanting to stick, pinch, and take. Screaming crazy for a true happiness that neither star nor fan can ever give. Reaching Phoenix phenomenon level of stardom is empty without gratitude for the current second. Humbly free yourself from your wants and worries. Imagine being happy without a heavenly number one hit record, or being the one richest, or one most famous. Imagine removing fear of pain, and gratitude for having everything and still exchanging more humans for robots. Loving life now and valuing yourself without any prods from either north or south to rush you into worry. Yes, you can set yourself free from the stress of tomorrow or four years from today, and please help with the health and recovery of our 8 billion brothers and sisters. Being amazed at the miracle of life in this excellent moment that we are breathing and alive together, my lovelies. Being present is central in world teachings since the days of Pharaoh. The word Islam comes before the days of Moses and originally means health. Gratefulness for the present moment is recognized today by all professionals as the best practice for mental and physical health as best practiced in Islam. Gratefulness helps to heal past traumas, times that were like hell, and calm the deadly anxiety and stress of trying to accomplish objectives, reaching heaven. Genius Johnny teaches methodically on multiple levels, giving us the magical experience of multidimensional music, guiding us to be thankful for today while entrancing us into a state of peace and appreciation. Johnny the Great Grammy Hall of Fame to Ganges and back again to softly teach us love, health, and gratitude. Thank God our Holy Quran on multidimensional levels is recited harmoniously to teach healthy happiness. Lennon's lovely lyrical lift in 1971 was narrated by our messenger, Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century. Satan will forever try to switch men's gaze to those above him in worldly affairs. S. Atom will whisper to him, Why don't you be hasten seeking and gaining wealth so that you can live prosperously but regarding religious matters in the hereafter? Satan will turn his face to people beneath him in religious affairs, saying, Why do you feel bad and humbled in front of Allah? That man is still more knowledgeable than you. Faidul Qadir Siara Al Jami Ash Shogir. Look at the people beneath you in wealth and worldly affairs, and do not gaze at the ones above you in this matter. B. You this, you will not underestimate the bounty of Allah bestowed upon you. Narrated by Bukhari and Muslim. Immediate imaginary gratitude is an exercise that gets easier with systematic practice. Both John Lennon and Islam teach to prioritize health more than heaven, greed or hell, pride. The first lines in imagine are confirmed in the saint line, no need for greed, heaven or hunger, hell. There is always greed and hunger, but controlling your thoughts and imagining contentment is being healthy. The seven deadly sins that tempt rich and poor equally are cured by gratitude. Racism and inequality are the deadly sins of looking down on people in disgust and pride, assuming you are better, smarter, healthier. Imagine no hell is imagining there aren't people beneath you. God made you and me lovingly equal. And turn not your face away from men with pride nor walk in insolence through the earth.
Verily, Allah likes not each arrogant boaster. Holy Quran. B. Mathematically, having the attitude of no heaven and no hell equals no rush. Being rushed was a common complaint in many of Mr. Lennon's songs, I'm only sleeping, watching the wheels. Fixing a hole. Paul McCartney and John. Being rushed is stress that can cause diseases or accidents. Islam also teaches the health of patients. And we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits. But give good tidings to the patient. Quran 2 155 And obey Allah and his messenger. And do not dispute and thus lose courage and then your strength would depart. And be patient. I Indeed Allah is with the patient. Holy Quran 846. Where is the Shahada, Daddy? Sounds like speculation. Where is your Bruce Lee training? Ninjas got nothing. See, there's no heaven, heavenly higher power. Only all ah Islam. There is no God, only Al. That's not good enough. You want an exact match? Fine, fine, fine. I am honored and grateful to teach. Your humble detective tried Iblis Road, the classic Beatles mind game tactics of hiding peekaboo words backwards, backmasking, a method of many marvelous musicians to inspire deeper thinking. Scary! Experience playing songs backwards, opposite of love is hate, and that's all I have to say about that. Thinking like a superstar sensei singer, we play Scrabble, a standard game for smarty songwriters. There is no Allah, only Allah. Holy Quran 2, as secretly sang by John Lennon. Imagine there's no heaven, it's ESI if you try. No heel below us, above us, only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Ah, there's no... ALA, only all. Ah. Uh, do you use engraving or stickers for names? I think a 53 to year solved mystery earns an engraving. Honestly, your humble daddy is so grateful because I feel like El Haj Malik El Shabazz healing the soul of Muhammad Ali. A nice, warm, fuzzy feeling, thank you. Ms. Yoko Ono. You are the queen muse who blossomed the best-selling songs of love. Your humble student cried a stream of love in sharing what is being shared with me. Very grateful. The thesis of a healthy society with citizens practicing equality and gratitude is continued in the next verse. 7. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. The theme of equality and sharing has also been taught in the Bible and Quran since the days of Moses' fight to free Jews from Egypt. Holy Quran, 26, 60 minus 68. Moses, David, Jesus all risked their lives for equality. In respect to killer countries, Judeo-Christians kill for their religions, capitals, Israel, or the Vatican daily. Islam teaches to have a worldwide health community curing caliphate, for universal health and harmony. And mention when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority, caliph. But only in practicing the teachings of the worldwide Islamic health system can we remove bloody borders in crooked countries and greedy global pharaohs. Akis, Africans, Asians, Latinos, Arabs are bombed backwards for centuries then called animals. Teach! Eight. And no religion, too. Our theological Dr. Lenin confirms in an interview the meaning of his teachings. People always got the image I was an anti-Christ or anti-religion. I'm not. I am a most religious fellow. I was brought up a Christian, and I only now understand some of the things that Christ was saying in those parables. B. Because people got hooked on the teacher and missed the message. Reporter, David Sheff, 1980. John Lennon confirmed to be very theological and loves Jesus Christ as a teacher as confirmed in Islam. 
But the whole religion business suffers from the onward Christian soldiers bit. There's too much talk about soldiers and marching and converting. Reporter, David Sheff, 1980. Dr. Lennon's message is, Imagine all religions are vaccines for health, rather than needles to whip chop or bomb us into accepting white flesh gods. Imagine missionaries are mentored as doctors of equality to all men, women, and children. Excited by the energy of equalizing egos of chosen pharaohs. Imagine we change our framework from having the most to helping the least. It isn't hard to do. Mr. John Lennon loves religion, but not the unhealthy crusading Trinitarians. By stating Christ is in God. Mr. Lennon is teaching to practice the preaching of the prophets rather than worshiping any men. Mr. Lennon's music was perceived so perfect, he became a flesh god on earth, modern-day Taylor Swift, and is teaching us to worship the words, not the men or women. Monkeys are not gods, and being a monkey god is not happiness. Happiness is helping humanity. The messenger is worshipped instead of the message. So there would be Christianity, Mohammedanism, Buddhism, Confucianism, Marxism, Maoism, everything. It is always about a person and never about what he says. Reporter, David Sheff, 1980. Dr. Lennon confirms the previous clues on learning Islam and converting from Trinity to monotheism. Rather than being killer soldiers of God fighting for men, be beautiful helpers for God sharing health. Bruce Lee said it best, be like water. Bob Marley sang it best. I have got a running stream of love, you see. Use your stream of energy to empower equality. 9. Imagine all the people live in life in peace. You. The climax of this masterpiece was the eye-opener for me. Imagine all people in Islam. The contemporary meaning is, health, the standard definition is peace. Both Mr. Lennon and the Holy Quran describe identical health systems for sharing. 10. Imagine no possessions, I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger or brotherhood of man. As a European, John Lennon may be addressing the trillion-dollar net worth of the Catholics' Vatican. The combined net worth of the top five Christian churches can feed the world for ten years. By deifying men in the messenger, then greed overrides God. Islam is the only world religion that removes intercessors to God. Very expensive toll bridges. The terrible 10% tithes they go to churches creates an unhealthy system of greed and power. In Islam, only 2 and 5 5% is given directly to charities. You are your own pope. You do not bow to men. Crown Catholic popes are powerless in Islam, spewing unhealthy crusades, colonists, and confusion while hiding expensive vaults of hidden scriptures. In summary, my sons and daughters. 1. Backtracing 10 years of master steps for creating Imagine, then DJ Ninja style forward 10 years we can imagine the pearl in the middle is Islam. 2. The lyrics symbolically match the teachings of world scriptures including the Holy Quran. 3. The interviews complete Mr. Lennon's clues. 1. Mr. Lennon is very religious. 2. Mr. Lennon says, do not worship Jesus. 3. John is singing for the Jews of Moses. 4. Mr. Lennon says, Muhammad is a messenger. Mr. Lennon developed bad habits being around high society as some of us lovely monkeys do. When seeking a higher power for recovery treatment, all religions in theory are excellent and work for billions. Surely those who believe and those who are Jews and the Christians and the Sabians, whoever believes in Allah in the last day and does good, they shall have their reward from their Lord and there is no fear for them, nor shall they grieve. Holy Quran 262